Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You guys residents here? Are we bothering anyone? Don't touch I just have to hide. Don't touch anyone. Sorry? All right, well, um, this is presently for residents only. This is for the residents here, that woman said. Well, the man and his family recording this are residents. They say they've been harassed and questioned repeatedly for fishing here. Could that be because they are black? And some of the white residents of this part of Columbus, Georgia, assume there could not be any black folks living in this nice lake area neighborhood. This video, recorded by a TikToker who goes by Fishing Bay 2GA, has received millions of views, in part because the white woman starts to issue orders. Watch. So, thank you for filming. I'm not giving you permission to film, so. She's like. Okay, picture of your license plates and forward it on. Hey, so y'all hear what I go through, right? This the third person. This the third person. I'm in my own neighborhood and a white person came and bothered me while I'm fishing. Another white person came and bothered me while I'm fishing. This the third time. She's like, oh no. I'm not giving you permission to film. This is my phone. I can film and do whatever I want. I study the law. He is right under the law and settled court decisions. All of us are allowed to film and record in public. The woman can ask him not to record, but cannot force him to stop recording. There is no right to privacy in public, including streets, sidewalks, easements, parks, and lakes. Now, as far as fishing, if a city or community has a local ordinance against fishing along certain ponds or lakes, so be it. But that was not the case here. The fisherman handled this with laughter and asked the woman to stick around because he had some questions. Well, well don't, don't leave now. Do you want to say, hey, do you live here? Where you live? What's your address? Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? This is unbelievable. Where do you live? Why? What, what's your name, by the way? Because at the next Karen? meeting, I'm definitely going to mention you. Her name is Karen. Her name is Karen, said the fisherman's wife. <laughs> well played. Because Karen, of course, has become the label for entitled white women who show elements of bigotry and racism. And to assume that a black family doesn't live in a nice neighborhood and doesn't belong, well, that is definitely Karenicity. Would the white woman have questioned a white man she didn't know who was fishing along that lake? Probably not, and that's the point. Kudos to TikTok or Fishing Bay 2GA for staying calm and laughing his way through this. The racism that countless fellow citizens have to deal with each day, though, is not funny. We often think of racism as people who are burning crosses and shouting the N-word, but it's usually more subtle. There isn't service for black folks at a restaurant or shop, they get suspicious looks from people who cross to the other side of the street, or they face assumptions that they don't belong someplace, like in a nice neighborhood. This man was fishing. The woman who didn't know him could have approached him with kindness and said something friendly like, hey, what are you trying to catch? I haven't met you before. What's your name? You know, have a pleasant conversation conversation to determine if the man and his family are residents, as opposed to just assuming they are not. To be clear, there's nothing wrong with enforcing community rules, but assuming that somebody is breaking the rules because of their skin color, that is racism. By the way, a disgraced televangelist is back making some wild pronouncements about America. Check out that video on Jim Baker at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.